Hello and welcome! Zhigalu travel visiting Salisbury this week. Salisbury is one of the UK's oldest and most historic cities. It is also a city surrounded by beautiful scenery and is often called the city in the countryside. As there is so much to see in Salisbury, it makes excellent choice for exploring on foot whilst you soak up its history. On this self-guided walk, you will visit Salisbury Cathedral, which is home to the famous Magna Carta. See the timbered buildings and shop at the Old George Mall and explore its many historic buildings in the ancient city centre. We will be using GPS My City app to help us navigate the city. GPS My City offers 9 different self-guided walking tours in Salisbury to help you explore the city. Today we will follow Salisbury Introduction Walk. For a full detailed walk, check the GPS My City app. Our first stop, Market Square and Guildhall. Located in the heart of the city, the Guildhall is the most significant landmark on Marketplace. Salisbury's market began in the 13th century and grew quickly, becoming the city's cultural, trade and business centre. The present Guildhall building was constructed in the late 1700s and was renovated several times over the years. The most recent renovation took place in 1991. Today it's a single-storey brick structure with six tall columns. John Aport's house and William Russell's house, located in the marketplace next to Guildhall, are regarded as the oldest buildings in Salisbury. They are twinned timber-framed buildings with pointed roofs. John Aport's house was constructed in 1425 by Salisbury's mayor, John Aport. William Russell's house was built in 1306 but appears newer because of its false facade. Both houses have remarkable interiors with dark beams, fireplaces, chiseled stairs and Elizabethan panelling. The buildings were refurbished in 1930s and they now house Watson's and a specialty china shop. Turning onto Fish Row will lead us to Butcher Row. Butcher Row is a paved pedestrian area lined with individually owned shops from clothing, accessory, home goods, coffee shops and a lot more. A real gem in this area is the jewellery store Goldsmiths, which is housed in a Tudor timber-framed building. Next stop, located at the end of Butcher Row, is Poultry Cross. Poultry Cross is a historic structure that was originally built in 1335. It is located in the centre of the city's historic marketplace near Silver Street. It is named Poultry Cross because it once housed stalls where vendors would sell birds and fowl. The present structure dates back to the 15th century, with some additions from 1852. In the area surrounding Poultry Cross, trade stands still operate on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Walking towards Avon River, we will find the Maltings. The Maltings was named after the medieval malt houses. Today, it is a delightful modern development that has remained true to its historic roots. This open-air shopping centre occupies about 6 hectares. The old mill and other structures were turned into specialty stores. There are cafeterias and pubs here and a pleasant riverside walk to the city is available for pedestrians. Sitting just on a riverbank, there is the Bishop's Mill. The Bishop's Mill is also called The Mill, sits on the riverside next to the Bridge Street, in the Malting shopping area. The mill was once owned by Bishop of Old Sarum and was built in the 17th century. Bishop Richard Poor, one of the city founders, helped restore the building in the 18th century. It is a two-gabled building made of pebble and flint stone. Today it houses a modern-style bar and restaurant. Its riverside setting provides a spectacular view. The clock tower is situated on the Fisherton Street near Fisherton Bridge. Little Ben is the local's name for its Victorian landmark. It was erected in 1892 by Dr. John Roberts in memory of his wife. The clock atop the tower has several dial pieces and carved stone plate in the foundation. Manacles are pictured on the plate as a symbol of the prison, which was once located on the site. Turning back and walking to High Street will lead us to Old George Inn and Mall. Old George Inn, built in 1361, was one of the city's oldest inns. Only part of the original Old George remains, but it now has Grade 1 listed building in England status. 
in 1645, Oliver Cromwell spent a night at Old George on his way to joining the army. The inn also appeared in Charles Dickens' novel Martin Chuzzlewit. Five minute walk away, there is Hall of John Hall, Odeon Cinema. John Hall, a merchant and a mayor of Salisbury, was the first owner of this house which was built in 1470s. The building which now serves as Odeon Cinema is quite out of the ordinary. Its facade and foyer were designed in the Tudor style and date back to the 15th century. Its medieval interior has a fireplace with John Hall's coat of arms, leaded windows, tall arched ceilings, walls decorated with pikes and armour. Even though the building now is the home to a modern cinema, it has maintained its medieval charm. Just nearby we can also see Best Western Red Lion Hotel. The Best Western Red Lion Hotel dates back to 1220 AD and is said to be the oldest hotel in Britain. Its creeper-clad courtyard and pleasant 18th century facade reinforce the history and charm of the place. The hotel has Victorian lounge, medieval-style bar, 51 rooms and 6 conference halls. Walking south down the Catherine Street will take us to St. Anne's Gate and Close Wall. St. Anne's Gate is the east entrance to the Close. The wall and the gate were built in the 14th century. Before 1330, a channel of water from the River Avon divided the Close from the town. St. Anne Gate is a stone gatehouse and it formerly served as a cannonry. Just next to it, there is the main attraction of Salisbury. Salisbury Cathedral, formerly known as the Cathedral Church of the Blessed Virgin Mary, is an Anglican cathedral in Salisbury and is considered one of the leading examples of early English architecture. The cathedral has the tallest church spire in the United Kingdom, 123 meters. Visitors can take the tower tour, where the interior of the hollow spire with its ancient wood scaffolding can be viewed. The cathedral also has the largest cloister and the largest cathedral close in Britain. The cathedral contains the world's oldest working clock from 1386 AD and has the best surviving of the four original copies of Magna Carta. Next few stops located just outside the cathedral, Medieval Hall and Old Deanery. The old deanery was built in the 1270s and served as the primary accommodations for the deans for more than 700 years. Today the deanery encompasses three medieval houses along the River Avon, which remain in perfect condition after extensive restorations in 1963, 1982 and 1995. The Rifles Berkshire and Wiltshire Museum opened in 1981. The museum occupies a building that was constructed in 1254. The primary shape of the main hall and two service annexes still remains, but the current layout was established during a reconstruction in the 19th century. You can explore the regimental library and archive by appointment. After checking out the museum's extensive collection, you can wander along the beautiful riverside gardens. Mompesson House is an elegant Queen Anne-style house which was built in 1701 for the Mompessons, a prominent merchant family. Today is under the protection of the National Trust. Its spacious interior features a carved timber staircase, original panelling and fine plasterwork. The apartments are furbished in period style. Mompesson House displays Captain Turnbull's collection of 18th century drinking glasses. High Street Gate was built in the mid-13th century and was the main entrance into the close. It's one of four gates around the cathedral. The gate has porticulis and is still locked in the evenings and reopened in the morning. There is a solitary sculpture of a knight on the inner side of the wall and a royal coat of arms on the outer side. Crane Bridge and Crane Street took their names from a nearby building called the Crane. Crane Bridge was built at the end of 15th century and is one of statutory lists of buildings of special architecture or historic interest in the United Kingdom. 
The bridge is made of stone and has four low arches, projecting keystones and a stone parapet. Our last stop, Queen Elizabeth Gardens, is an urban park near Salisbury Cathedral. This park sits along the River Avon and charms with its sweeping willows, water meadows, rustic bridges and pathways. It is popular with both residents and visitors, as well as children. Children love the park's play area, streams and charming view of the cathedral. Lizzie Gardens is a beautiful place for families to get away. We hope you enjoyed this walking tour of Salisbury and are looking forward for you to join us on our next adventure in the near future. Take care guys!